All right, now it's time to install some nut certs in the holes we just drilled. And I'm going to do this two different ways, the two ways you probably have at home. But the first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of RTV on this nut cert, and that's going to seal it against the outside sheet metal of your Jeep so you don't have any water problems. So just run a bead all the way around there and go ahead and push it in one of the holes. This is messy. It's always messy, but it's totally worth it to not have a rusty Jeep later. In the hardware pack, you're going to find a nut cert tool. It may be assembled already, but I want you to check the assembly of this. It's going to be a 5 16 inch bolt like that, a washer on the top, any washer doesn't really matter, uh, this nut right here, and then a bottom washer. Now this bottom washer is important. I want you to make sure it's there, first of all, and I want you to check to make sure that the size is pretty close to the size of the bolt. That's important to get these nut certs crushed properly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of anti-seize or oil or grease or whatever you've got and we're going to put it on these threads just so we don't gall the threads of the nut cert and so this tool lasts the whole time that we're doing the installation. Then we're going to go ahead and thread this tool into the nut cert on the body. Now we're going to take a ratchet with a half inch socket and an 11 16th open end wrench. So we're going to put the 11 16th open end wrench on the nut and then we're going to grab this 5 16 inch bolt and the nut's just going to spin freely. That's just to hold tension against the face of the nut cert. Now here's the important part when you're crushing this nut cert. You want to apply torque perpendicular to the nut cert. You do not want to apply torque like this, or like this, or like that. That's going to crush the nut cert off center, and that's going to be a huge headache. So I usually grab the ratchet as close to the head as I can, just to make sure that I'm putting perpendicular torque on that nut cert. To get it started there, and then as it tightens up, you can move your hand down the ratchet as you need to. I can't stress this enough. You really want to avoid applying torque like this or like this or, you know, you want to apply that torque as perpendicular as you can. And I hope that's, that makes sense. Once it starts to crush over, starts to go a lot easier. So you're going to feel it loosen up and you're going to feel it tighten up again. All right. It's going to get super tight. You know, don't break the bolt, but and then go ahead and back everything off. and we've got a perfect crush. All right, the other way you can do this is with an impact. And this is a little bit riskier because you could technically break the bolt that you're using to crush the nut cert. But the nice part is, is you know that the torque is going perpendicular to that, that nut cert with an impact wrench. So what you're gonna do with this is just check it every few hits, just to make sure that A, it's crushing correctly, and B, you don't over crush it. done these a lot so I kind of have a feel for what the impact wrench sounds like when it gets to that point but it's going to take you a few tries to get that so if you're going to use an impact be careful and check it every few hits of the impact. All right there's actually one more way to install rev nuts that I didn't tell you about. It's called the Rivet King. It's pneumatic. It's pretty rad and the reason I didn't tell you about it is because it's like $2,000. So we install a lot of nut certs, riv nuts have you here. So that's why we have one. And they really make it easy. But there's no reason for you to have one of these at home. Unless you like tools a lot. I like tools. <laughs>